Welcome to our lecture online. Now here we have our integral sine cube of x divided by the cosine cube of x and using two different methods we found two different looking answers. But we already showed in the previous video that if we took the derivative of both answers we got the same result. In other words the answers are valid but you cannot make one equal to the other. So what we're going to do now is we're going to plug in some values for x for just the first part of the answer in each case to see what we get and how those answers relate to one another. So when we plug in 0 for x here, the tangent of 0 is 0, so 1 half times 0 gives us simply 0. Here when we plug in 0 for, the cos for x in the cosine square of x, the cosine of 0 is 1, 1 half times 1 is 1 half. So you can see that you do not get the same answer when you plug in numbers, but stay tuned and see what happens here. Now what happens when we plug in 30 degrees for the angle? So we take 30, take the tangent of that, square that number, and then divide that by 2, and we get the following result. 0 0.16666 and so forth. We do the same for the cosine uh, squared of x, so 30, take the cosine of that, we square that. Since it's in the denominator, we take the inverse of that, and then we divide by 2 and we get the following result. We get 0 0.66666. Now something begins to look interesting here. Notice that in each case we have a constant of integration and of course that doesn't have to be the same constant of integration, that can be any constant of integration. And notice that the result here is exactly 1.5 larger than here and the same over here. 0.5 larger than here. Well, if this continues, then we realize that the only difference is a constant of 0.5, and since we have a constant of integration added to each, then it does become exactly the same, the same answer. So let's go ahead and plug in some more numbers. We take 45 degrees, take the tangent of that. We square it, well, the tangent of 45, of course, is 1, and we square it, we get 1 times 1 half, so we get 0.5. The cosine of 45 degrees is 0.707. Square that to get uh, 0.5. Now we have to take the inverse of that, so that gives us 2 times 1 half gives us 1. And it looks like the pattern continues. The answer here is exactly 0.5 larger than here. So if that continues all the way through, then we realize the answers are exactly the same. So let's try this. 60 degrees, the um, tangent of 60 and then we uh, square that and times uh, 0.5 that would be 1.5 and so if the pattern holds the result here should be equal to 2. Let's see if we get that. So we take 60, take the cosine of that is 0.5, we square that, 0.25, take the inverse which is equal to 4 times 1 half is 2 and again notice the answer is exactly 0.5 larger than it is here. Now, of course, when we plug in 90 degrees, the tangent of 90 degrees is undefined because that's the sine over the cosine, and the cosine of 90 degrees is 0, so we get a 0 denominator, undefined, or the result is infinity. Same over here, plug in 90 degrees, we get 1 divided by 0, so it's infinity. At that point, of course, we can't tell that this is exactly 0.5 larger than that because it's undefined, but at least you saw that the pattern holds true for any value that we tried and I would assume that for any value smaller than 90 degrees between 0 and 90 degrees the answers will be exactly 0.5 apart which means we can take care of that by just the constant of integration and so the two answers we got using the two methods are equivalent in that they give us the same result and that's how we know.